this uh, nice event and um, talk about three small points. First will be uh, a story I'll tell to you, then some thank you I have to say to some people here and maybe not arriving yet, and then to introduce our uh, keynote speaker, Gertrude. So starting with the story, back in January, I have had a vision. I wanted to see, and I, I wish so much to see all the Romanian community here in Colding gathering in some interesting and uh, self-developing uh, events to prove our uh, positive values and to prove that we are good for some uh, meaningful things in the society, especially as students, which is very important for us. Then, uh, having this, this vision, I have uh, met and discussed with the people from the League of Romanian Students Abroad. Some of them are here with us today, and thank you for that. And uh, after some discussions, uh, I took the responsibility to build up here in Colding this, uh, this uh, community, let's say. So with some discussion with some friends of my Romanians, we started over. And who could have believed that after four or five months, we could have reached this point here today? A point where, in the, during this journey, we used to have one workshop a week about self-development, personality, values, career planning, study planning, or events like this, big events, where we also invite internationals. Events where, look how many people are coming. And uh, people who are coming from Arcus, from Ulense, from uh, Vaile, and uh, for that, give it up for the people who are coming from outside the, the coding, please. <laughs> Therefore, we have, uh, we have had uh, some other big events. We, we also offer trinkets, traditional Romanian trinkets, to ladies on 1st of March in the school. And then, um, uh, we did um, a public speaking workshop with almost 30 people in two sessions. It was pretty, pretty interesting for us and we feel very developed afterwards. And uh, last weekend we had an interesting activity. We have made a, a barbecue, but uh, including a mini golf championship with a cup and everything in Legge Park. And, and thank you again for the people who have come last weekend. Then um, I, I want to thank you to all the volunteers, first of all, for their involvement and, uh, and for proving their values and, and uh, wanted to show something off. And uh, not, not least, I want to take you to some stakeholders, some, some institutions and some friends of us. First of all, I want to take you to International Business Academy. We have here some representatives as well. And thank you for supporting us in every activity. And uh, secondly, the library, who have been a home for us for every event we had. They have provided us rooms and everything we wanted and, and everything we could have imagined. Thank you again. Uh, afterwards, uh, thank you to Learn Dance. And thank you to uh, Masters, an advertising company who have helped us also with this event with the printing stuff. And uh, in, the, in the end, but not least, two special persons for me and for us as well. The Katrine from JCI Coding, who have been the speaker for the public speaking event. And as well, Gert Rune, which I again thank you for, for uh, being here with us today. Then, uh, what can I say? The, the moment has come that my journey will go to an end here in Coding. And uh, I will have to go back uh, either in Romania, either in Copenhagen. Uh, I'm missing so much my country, but uh, through you, and I want to thank you again, that through you, uh, my spirit will remain within me, my Romanian spirit, and uh, you have made my staying here more comfortable. Uh, therefore, in the next, uh, in the next part, uh, I would like to have a sincere sincere opinion that wherever I will go, I will go in my soul with the friendships we have built here, with the memories we have during the good or bad ones, and uh, as well, wherever I will be, you will have my support and my endorsements, and I will be extremely happy that after months, years, when I will come back and visit you, I will see the same involvement, I will see the same attitude of proving things and develop each other. But, okay, we have reached a level now during these months. We had a vision, we gathered, we did things, we have proven, but now, what's next? From my personal opinion, I endorse that from now on we should try more to involve in the international community here to do uh, projects together with other cultures because it's pretty interesting to make debates, it's pretty interesting to learn from each other. We have different behaviors, we, we see things with different points of view, especially outside the school. 
So from now on, it will be pretty interesting that if we have given this kind of example, some others will follow us and support us in some uh, following projects. Then uh, let's uh, introduce the moment we are waiting for Gert Rune. And uh, a small story before ending, how did I approach Gert? Uh, I have told him uh, that the East Europeans, not only Romanians, uh, are facing a, a small issue. Some of them are immigrating in other countries, more developed, such as Denmark and other West European countries. But the problem which I saw during my staying in Denmark and going abroad in other countries is that they are more motivated about, you know, going to that country, what that country offered me a lot of, you know, a lot of facilities. But they're not motivating about themselves, proving their own values, proving what they can show off on the table. They don't do that. And more than, we have a lot of examples, and we live through examples in our life. We have a lot of examples that show us that some Romanians or other Bulgarians, Lithuanians, Hungarians have proven and are successful people also here in Denmark. I have met, pers I've met personally some of them, and I'm pretty proud of them. So that why, that's why I was thinking that giving Gert's uh, life story example will really motivate us. And that's why as well we have chosen for this event to uh, put this quote, the harder the path, the sweeter the victory. And it happened to me so often, and I'm pretty sure some of us had, us, had that in, uh, in our life experiences. That is why uh, we have Gert here today, because he has a special uh, path in his life. And uh, I would like